This is a 2017 Cummins 6.7 diesel engine. We just got it out of the Chrysler dealership for a transmission service under warranty. And they said I needed a new crankcase filter vent assembly installed. They wanted to charge me $245 for the part and one and a half hours labor to install it. I had them triple check those numbers and they kept coming back that that was correct. And I just couldn't see it taking that long to install a, a filter. So I went to my local auto parts store. I bought it for $113 with tax out the door. I put it in myself. We filmed the whole thing live from beginning to end to show you how to do it yourself and save about close to $400 on what they wanted. All right, enjoy. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is take out the dipstick so we can take off the cover on top of the engine. It's an eight millimeter. It's got four little screws that hold it on. I got a couple little boxes here so I don't lose anything. I'll take that off and set it to the side. Then there's eight screws that hold the top cover on. Also eight millimeter. in this box and put my little universal joint on to reach the back one. You could probably do it without it, but this makes it easier. If you notice, these things are not very tight. Okay, the last two bolts have a little wire clip on them. You have to use a screwdriver to pry it off. Just don't put any side torque on it and break it. Just lift straight up on it. <coughs> go okay and we'll take those off okay, these are not very tight okay that won't lift off. I need to take this off first. I'll put it in my little box here so I don't lose it. I'll take this over here. There's still a hose attached to it, but I don't see any reason to take that hose off. And then this is the filter right here that we're going to replace. So we'll pop that out. We we'll grab our new one here. And like any filter that has little o-ring seals, you want to oil those up so it'll slip down in and not try to separate that o-ring from its seat. So again, just oil that up nicely. Get the used oil off of the other filter, which we'll properly dispose of. So we put this one in here, make sure it's seated. Pop that down in there. Now sitting down all the way flat. So we'll put it down in the little hole. We'll put this back on here and put the hose cable out from under it. Okay, everything's free, nothing's under it. it sits all the way down flat. Now all these bolts are the same except the two longer ones. You can gently snug it, barely. And then do the back corner. Again, just barely snug it. And just barely. Okay, we'll put the other four in here. Here. 
I've got this set at its minimum torque setting, which is about like a screwdriver tightening it, so it can't over tighten. And the last one. Start it before you put the wrench on it. There we go. Okay, now they're all in place. Now I'm going to use my ratchet to tighten my hand. Harnesses back on. We'll put our oil fill cap back on. So nothing falls in there. Let's set this back in place. The dipstick hole there. And we'll go ahead and throw the dipstick in before we put the screws in just to minimize the chance of anything falling into the hole. And we'll put the remaining four screws back in, with four holes. Now, I don't know how long that just took. But, I've never done one before. They told me it was one and a half hours labor at 120 hours to change that filter. And I didn't feel like they were giving me a good deal, so I did it myself. And you can see what the runtime is on the video, but I'm, I'm certain anybody could do it themselves. All you need is an eight millimeter tool, a deep well socket, one little U-joint to make it easier, a little three inch extension, and a quarter inch drive ratchet. All these tools are all you really need to impact reaches made it faster and this whole set of tools here wouldn't even cost you a twenty dollar billet you know, this is a craftsman there's less than twenty dollars worth of tools if you didn't already have them all right thank you for watching hit the like button if you like it